what's up guys it is 8 35 in the morning and i am leaving to work i work about 15 20 minutes away but i have to leave early and get to the work by at least by nine only to get a good parking spot to be able to get in and hopefully get my lunch pal in the fridge because it's a super tiny fridge when they have like 500 employees which is insane it's like one little tiny fridge what's up guys and welcome back to our brand new vlog brand new channel welcome back to a brand new vlog i am actually going to be doing a day in the life of a working single mom so the kids are at home they are sleeping there's only three out of the four that are at home um so yeah they're all still sleeping in a ways working as a single mom is really difficult because trying to find someone to come over and watch the kids is always difficult and trying to find time when I get off of work. I never like get off at the same time. So I'm supposed to work from 9.30 to 6.30. Or no, 9.30 to 6. And it's very rare that I actually get off at 6. So my job, I have to finish my tasks on what I'm doing or go help other people finish their stuff before we can actually leave. And a lot of times I'm not leaving till like seven o'clock. Sometimes there's one time I didn't leave till eight o'clock and it was, it was, it's just really irritating and I'm only having this job so I can make money and ends meet because let's face it, my channel is not taken up. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's been a lot of things with YouTube so I had to revert back to working and everything and it's, it's just really hard and school starts in like two weeks and I have no one to pick up my kids from school so this job will probably only last two more weeks because yeah I have no one to pick them up what am I supposed to do like my mom works and the days that she does she's normally busy so she can't pick them up so I don't know what to do I'm, I'm like I'm legit freaking out I don't I don't know I just don't know what to do anyways day in the life of a single mom and all the struggles that come along with it so let's head on to work okay you guys so i just got here I got like 15 minutes to run in and um clock in put my lunch pill and everything down like i said i'm probably not gonna get my food into the um the refrigerator but it's whatever I never get to well, let's go inside so I was able to put all my stuff into the refrigerator and this is the break room so all that we have like you can choose to, like eat from the fridge or drinks or whatever Okay guys, so I'm back from break, but I just want to kind of show you what I'm doing. So this is one of my rooms. This is a regular two bed um, room. I did the one next door and that one was, I think, two bunk beds and a regular one. But this will all be cleaned when I'm done. So I'll show you when I'm all done. Okay, so I forgot to show you guys the other room that was completed, but this is the one I just now completed. It has one bed, a futon, and then this one has the two bunk beds plus another bunk bed with like a cute little sign and then your wet bar your other bar and then of course the bathroom so that's it okay you guys so i'm done with work it's 5 30. i clocked out about 5 15. i was done with all of my rooms that were assigned to me and we're supposed to stay till like 6 to help everyone else but I had an extreme panic attack this morning and I haven't been able to really calm down. Take Before I was just like, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't sleep at the light. Um, so I left and yeah, I don't think I'll get in trouble, but if they question me, I'll just tell them what happened. It's not going to explain it on the vlog. Let's try to keep it positive. Um, tomorrow I go back to work. Fingers crossed. Um, I mean, I've heard people leave at 5.30 before and not get in trouble for it. So I'm sure I won't get in trouble for leaving 45 minutes early, especially for what happened. And I did tell the supervisor. The supervisor told the person that was higher up. And yeah, so everyone knows about it. Clearly everyone's talking at work about it. Working and the behind the scenes of everything. Um, 
I did get sidetracked so I wasn't able to show you all the rooms and stuff that I did but I did five well six rooms today in seven and a half hours not I mean maybe seven hours because minus my lunch and my breaks and stuff but and then it takes like an hour to go find your car and stock it I'm going to go get me something to eat and that's pretty much the end of the vlog until I get home so we'll see what the kids are doing when I get home Okay, so we went to Chick-fil-A because it's comfort food. <laughs> and then we went to Baskin Robbins. He didn't eat no Baskin Robbins, but I did. And it's like melted and I ate like half of it. And now my stomach is absolutely killing me. But yes, so yeah, we're just going to hang out and probably go over it, watch a movie and relax after work because he just got off work and I just got off work and... <sighs> Yeah, it's it's been a rough one today. I'll just I'll just say that it's been rough. So we actually decided to go on some trip, um, riding bikes. So he's gonna go get another bike. Let's see if it works. Sidewalk. Was it like half a mile? Is that half a mile? About two miles. <laughs> 